Welcome Leo. Okay, so Leo, we're going to look at the next two weeks for you and what it is that you're going on. So whenever you find this video is when it's applicable for you. Okay, um, using the Sacred Forest Oracle and clarifying with Osho Zen Tarot, which I was looking at changing up, but then I decided not to because me and the Osho Zen, we have a connection. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's get into it, hey? Uh, okay, so I'll just shuffle these ones so I'm not like forever spending all my time shuffling. Okay, so let's have a look. Actually, you know what I feel like doing right now, Leo? Is turning them all over. I've been turning them over one by one. But for you, okay, so first of all, we had uncertainty, renewal, protection. I'll show you them as I go through them. Very interesting. We've got freedom, magic, stillness, love, energy, and transcending. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. Anyway, okay, so let's start with the first one here, Leo. Thicket of Thorns, Uncertainty. So I feel like for some of you, you might feel a bit stuck. You're not sure what your next step is. You're not sure. I want to say what direction to go in, but I'm just wondering if something, see this deer here? It's like something's kind of stopped you and you got like, oh no, what should I do now? It's like that. Should I run? Should I play dead? What do I do? Very interesting. Because I feel like the girl here, she's um, just probably fascinated that she's seen a deer. Her energy seems like she's got these butterflies above her here. So I feel like her energy is fine. Um, it's nothing to be afraid of. But the deer is like freaking out going, who the heck are you? Like very uncertain as to what. It's, it's like there's feeling like there's this potential threat. But there's actually no threat. Whoa, hang on. That was like far too many cards. Sorry. Try that again. Hopefully I don't get this all muddled up like as I bring them out. Because I do make a bit of a mess with the cards on the table, I have to admit. Okay, so uncertainty for Leo. Uncertainty, not sure which direction to go in conscious okay so this could be Leo this could be about you needing to be conscious of your truth cutting out anything that doesn't serve you you see with thicket of thorns this these thorns these thorns in your life being representative of things that are hurting you, things that are holding you back, things that are stopping you from moving forward, being completely and utterly honest about that with yourself, Leo. Okay. Um, silence. Yeah, see, these two cards are the same um, to me. Going into the silence, okay, both with the third eye highlighted as well. So this may help you to give you direction as to exactly how to remove these thorns from your life. Um, and exactly what your next move is, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, sorry. Renewal is the next card. Frog Spirit Renewal. See, this um, this here is telling me, Leo, that you need to be aware of anything that seems insignificant because these, ins you know, like there might be a little annoyance in your life that you're like, oh, it's not really that bad. But in fact, it's actually a thorn. Okay, and it could end up like, it's like this, just the smallest prick of the thorn um, 
you know, like just kind of like as though it's on you and it's just like just a slight prick, but it's not enough for you to go, ow, don't, you know. Um, but eventually what will happen is that thorn will get in deeper and deeper and deeper and it's going to be so subtle that you're not going to notice. So I feel like it's a matter of paying attention to anything that seems insignificant um, and realize that that could be something that you need to pay attention to. On the flip side of that, Leo, because I don't usually get that from this card and this has come out a couple of times. On the flip side of that, looking at things that don't seem, um, it may seem even kind of ugly. It could be that for some of you, things that are thorns actually turn into something beautiful. And if you go into tap into this consciousness and the silence, it will help to highlight that for you. Right? Very interesting. Okay. Because I don't know if you know about that story, the princess and the golden ball, I think it was, and her, her ball went into the pond and there was a frog and she kissed the frog and he turned out to be a princess, but he seemed like an ugly, slimy frog prior to that. Um, and and she he was trying to tell her that I'm actually a, a prince, but she wouldn't believe him. And then when she did touch him with her, um, her presence, um, he turned into this prince that yeah well 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 okay leo what is going on here because we have these two cards here oh my gosh look at this we're dealing with this princess who has this magic touch here and we have these two here okay so sharing your abilities, sharing your light, okay, um, you may be unsure how it is you want to share those or even what they are, which is where the, um, the consciousness and the silence are going to help you to tap into those, okay, so sharing those are going to help you flower and blossom, okay, that's really powerful, Leo, this is honestly so powerful, okay, um, you know, in, in your in traditional tarot, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here and the Queen of Wands. Like this is pretty, pretty, pretty powerful for them to come out together. Anyway, um, Guardians of the Land protection. You might feel like uh, you can't step forward into the light because see how this here, it's like this is before you step into the light and then you step into the light and it's like <gasps> uh oh I've been spotted <laughs> but the whole point is for you to be spotted so that you can be appreciated okay because this girl here is looking at the deer probably in wonderland oh my god it's a deer how exciting it's Bambi <laughs> um and and you're afraid of being seen there's something about you that's afraid of being seen and you're remaining in the shadows. It's safer. It's a comfort zone for you, maybe. Um, letting go. Letting go. Um, walking away from anything that no longer serves you, like any emotions of needing to hold yourself in the shadows. Okay. Um, and again, going back to these thorns, letting go of anything that is a thorn. And that could be something as simple as that, Leo, of this insecurity of being seen, of this fear of being seen and not wanting to be seen. You need to start breaking through that. Okay. Because by breaking through, it's like keeping yourself in this glass house. Um, or in, you know, a box kind of thing. And breaking through those fears, Leo, will allow your light to shine. It's sometimes just actually facing that fear and doing it anyway and really going forth, okay, going forward, um, regardless of, because, you know, we, we we all have anxiety and fear about new things and, and having to step into the unknown. 
here um, but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing and for some of you it might be that you're treating those feelings of fear and anxiety as a sign not to do it but that is actually a natural feeling okay um, because even deeper than that you know in your heart of hearts that you need to do that yeah eagle spirit freedom this will allow you to fly and it will allow you to fly higher than you could ever imagine leo okay um that eagle is soaring man you've got the eagle soaring the eagle soaring, and I feel like this is you down here, okay? This is you down here going, oh, oh, I, I, I'd love to jump up and fly like you can, not realizing that you do actually have wings, and you could actually soar like the eagle. But it's like you just don't see your ability for some reason. Rebirth, rebirth, allowing the music. This came out last time, didn't it? think it might have and I think even last time I might have been like did this come out last time <laughs> so funny see things are still slowly coming back to me with the readings um same message if this did come out last time same message okay rebirth letting this music come up out of you um the other thing is this too Leo might be about you suppressing your emotions Okay, and not letting them out and not letting them flow. Because for some of you, you feel as though if you let your emotions go, you're going to come out roaring like a lion. But it's actually, you know, having the freedom to realize that you don't have to do it that way. You can do it. Is it playing music? Right. So um, anything that, that you enjoy, passion, um, anything that brings, you know, that slow down we need to slow down anything that is your passion that brings you joy like playing music it could be sports it could be you know creating something new this is going to help you release things okay so long as it's not used as an avoidance okay as a distraction it could help you release emotions that you no longer need to hold on to okay um postponement taking time, taking the time to really reflect, okay, look at it, what it is that you want in your life and what you want to create, okay, and be honest with yourself about where you are, okay, and, and taking the time to just do this will allow you to see what it is that you need to change in your life in order to get this, this colourful picture here into your reality, Okay, and also understanding that you have the freedom to create anything that it is that you want to create in your life. Okay, right, goods. Now, next card, magic. What is it? Moonlight enchantment. Magic. See, I really am drawn to this wolf howling here. To the moon. This is about you being scared of the shadows. You're keeping yourself in the shadows, but you also, also have a fear of the shadows. It's not a fear of the shadows. Or it could be your shadow self. You could be afraid of your shadow self. Um, but what I'm seeing here is you walking along the path at night, even if it is a full moon, and there are still things that are in the shadows. And it's the unknown that you're afraid of, Leo. The unknown. Aloneness. Aloneness. And I notice here that this wolf is here alone too. But there is a guiding light. There is a guiding light. Okay, so even though you're afraid of none of the unknown, just know that there is a guiding light. And do you know what the guiding light is? The guiding light is within you. Okay, yeah. 
this is, I'm, yeah, this is pretty cool because I think this really, Leo, is about you having faith in yourself, okay, and really sharing that light. See this candle here? This is this light that you need to share, okay, and this is going to help with your growth, okay. Um, there's this need for transparency about what it is that you love to do. Okay, um, this is kind of bringing out that inner child um, to have some fun, to, to, you know, how kids play and they just don't care what anyone thinks and they just do their own thing and they have this make-believe world and it's, it, you know, it's it's fantastic. And um, and that's what I feel like that kind of vibe you need to get into is to start really having some fun um and you know pretending you're in the circus and being a clown and just you know just absolutely letting go leo letting go in a really good way okay and that's going to help you to bring the music out from within that needs to be played okay um here's another awesome card and this is the beginning of some of this passion being brought out okay and something that you can really grow all right um it will take time it will take time for you to nurture this all right but it is 100 percent in the making if you allow it um yeah really keeping an eye on 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 this what it is that you're putting out there okay making sure that it's something that will whatever seed you're planting making something making sure that your vibration and your thoughts and your words are going to nurture the seeds you know how you see the plants um um that you speak to and you know ones you know you're negatively spoken to and the other ones positively spoken to and they have different growth rates they have different outcomes um and so this is something that you really need to apply to yourself from what is coming from you okay reflecting pull stillness and this is exactly what i'm saying here this here see this it's like this swan okay and this reminds me of the story about the ugly duckling yeah they are uh, all everyone it's brothers and sisters and everyone told it it was ugly and um and it grew up to be this beautiful swan and i feel as though this is about you reflecting on your true beauty that lies within okay um and actually seeing that that's not a cocky thing to do it's okay to do self-love is the most gracious love of all it's not someone who's egoic it's someone who loves himself and they don't even need to come out with that okay this is about you look at these two they completely and utterly love themselves and there is nothing about them that puts them in the space of giving the impression that they're better than anybody else but they know who they are yeah and this is something I feel that you are on the road to discovering. Love this nothingness. Yeah, this is this is this thing of of the no thingness is the everythingness. Yeah, and um, the other thing I want to say about this Leo is you have a blank slate um, to to start with. So looking at how you're going to colour that, okay? Um, comparison, com stop comparing yourself to others, okay? And the nothingness that we talk about, the stillness, the silence, the consciousness, right? All these cards here. Do you know where that resides? in the space between here there's the comparison of the two trees which are still two trees right the stillness resides in between and this is what is important for you to begin to tap into okay the rebel the rebel breaks free of these chains the rebel is not rebellious the rebel knows 
who the, he is. Okay, so he breaks the chains with his internal power because he has allowed it to break free. And the chains that are being held around you, Leo, are self-inflicted. Okay? Wild Rose Fairy. Love. Self-love. Yeah, because some of you are pushing away love. And it could be love from other people. It could very well be. Definitely love for yourself, from yourself for sure. You know, the rose is the symbol of love, right? And the rose has thorns. So can you see, Leo, that even something as beautiful as a rose also has thorns. So these thorns could be the thorns that you believe you have. All these traits that you don't like about yourself or all these faults that you think um, bring you down as a person that make you less than or inadequate are part of your beauty. So these are the things that you need to nurture about yourself and love about yourself because you can't get to fully loving yourself without accepting these thorns. Okay? And the no thingness, everything and everyone is the same. This is where we all come from. Right? In the silence, where's the other? See, I told you I'll make a mess. Now I can't find the card that I want to make my points. Here we go, the consciousness. <laughs> right? This is the this is the truth of who we all are. And everything you see around you, the flowers, the trees, the birds, all the animals, all the insects, everything comes from the one place. Okay? We just visually look different. This is all. And so it's, a, it's really embracing that part of yourself that comes from that because that is the truth, okay? Going with the flow, yeah. There's definitely quite a lot of um, pretty powerful cards here, I feel. Um, we've got three aces here, ace of pentacles, ace of swords, and the ace of cups. This could be new love coming into your life, Leo. Um, it could be a new love for yourself. And this should be first and foremost, what are you filling your cup with? You know, it, because if you are looking for love, when you meet somebody, you want your cup to be full. Because I tell you what, whatever's going on in your cup will be what you attract in another person. So if your cup is empty, Leo, you're going to attract someone with an empty cup. So you want to work on filling that cup with a beautiful, beautiful, um, you know, whatever it is, flowers, you know, this beauty and this, this confidence and this self-love. You want that to be filled because you don't want to be kept trying to do that for yourself as well as someone else, right? So, um, and it's no one else's responsibility but your own and it's everyone else's responsibility to fill their own cup before it can even be offered to anybody else, okay? And then that sharing of those cups is going to be balanced, okay? So this is about you releasing sorrow and anything else that doesn't allow you to go with this flow and fill up your cup, cup with, um, with love, okay? Um, some of you don't believe you deserve it and that you're not enough. And so these are the things you need to work on. This is the thorn that you need to work on here, okay? And release and let go of them. Feel it. Feel it to heal it, Leo. Feel it to heal it. Fire spirit energy. Wow.
kind of um, yeah I, okay let me just start with what i'm getting i feel like this is about growth okay um for some of you this could be about getting out in nature okay so that you can ignite your passion okay um i feel as though it's sort of like becoming one with nature in a sense um Yeah, there's this need to combine, there's this, yeah, could be even um, Leo getting out and, you know, to especially to the beach, okay, um, because I feel as though once you start connecting with that, things are going to come together. The other thing though, the other thing though is this in traditional tarot is the Two of Cups, so Releasing this sorrow is going to help it bring in for you um, this connection. There's a connection, yeah. And when you ignite your passion within you, when you set yourself on fire, which not literally, but you know, with your heart and, and the self-love, this is where you will be able to make this connection, Leo. Okay, interesting going to write down connection because do you know what I always finish the video and I completely have really not much recollection of what's going on so I'm writing down connection so I remember look creator connecting with the creator connecting with the creator within okay projections this is going to um, I feel like for some of you Leo this is what you're portraying on the outside and this these two in the middle here are what is going on in the inside there's a lot of anger that needs to be released for some of you okay um, or negative emotions anyway these thorns these thorns have to be addressed and looked at um, and in the process you love yourself anyway because we all have them there's not anyone without any thorns if if anyone says they have no thorns that is like don't take it on because it's just not true okay and then we have pegasus transcending okay so this is what is going to happen for you leo uh, because it, this this is going to give you the freedom that you desire because see here this pegasus can't get off the ground because it doesn't believe it can fly. And here it is flying. So this is your path to freedom. This is your path to ride up, rise up and fly. And this is what it is that you need to do to achieve this, Leo. Okay, so let's just have a look if there's any more cards. I'm really excited for you right now. Because, um, yeah, inner voice. Look, this connection, connecting in, is going to allow your inner voice to speak. Okay, and um, it's going to allow you to make this connection between your heart and the third eye, which was coming up earlier, remember, and the other two cards, which the other one is, who knows where it's, it's gone. <laughs> it's, amongst the, it's amongst the pile here somewhere. Um, exhaustion, yep. This is going to help you put everything into place that needs to be put into place. Um, because it's like, Leo, you have everything that you need. It's just a matter of sorting through it all. A little bit like, you know, going through a junk drawer where it's like looking for, you know, maybe a, a really small pin. And you you know it's in the junk, junk drawer and you've got everything, you know, it's like that third drawer, right? You've got everything in there and that, you know, those handy little things that you need and you know it's in there, but you just need to sort it out and tidy it up type of thing so that you can find it. So it has a place. Everything has its place in your life, okay? But it's just actually allocating the correct place for it, okay? Um don't know why that came out but that might be you know relevant to some of you but anyway here yeah. so leo okay so you've got some things to work on over the next two weeks which is the self-love okay and it doesn't mean it's going to come straight away and then two weeks later you you're in love with yourself and it's all fine and honky dory it takes work and it's a process you know and it's one that does take time but i tell you what it is a hundred percent worth it leo okay and I say that because I've been there too, you know, and um, yeah, 
definitely, definitely do it for yourself because you are worth it and you do deserve it. Okay, Leo, um, please share and subscribe and like and comment, do all that stuff um, as an exchange of energy for this reading. Okay, Leo, take care. See you. Bye-bye.